Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Idioms 541. The idiom today is, the genie is out of the bottle. Okay, if somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. If someone says the genie is out of the bottle, or you cannot put the genie back in the bottle, uh, it means information that has been released, or somehow, somehow, or somehow someone got, you know, got out there. Uh, cannot be taken back, and it will lead to certain consequences. All right, we got the second one here, too. can also refer to something that has been brought into reality or invented and cannot be undone or eliminated. So we use it both ways. All right, the phrase derives from old Arabian myth that was introduced to the Western culture in the book one thousand and one nights uh, in the early 1700s so obviously we know genies genies are in the lamp they come out of the bottle okay uh, the first use of the word genie in english appeared in the 1650s and it referred to a guardian spirit and it originally derived from the latin word genius uh, the word genie may have also been influenced by the arabic jani i guess meaning like i think a spirit or possibly an evil spirit uh, meaning a spirit. Okay, good. Uh, let's continue. All right, and now we got five examples to show just how it's used. Here's the first one. Uh, the scandal has already hit the headlines. The genie is out of the bottle. Uh, the most we can do now is damage control. So again, this has the idea. It's been released. You can't take it back. So you just can do what you can do. So we often say you do damage control. You try to cover it somehow or limit its damage. Number two, that high official already admitted it is true. The genie is out of the bottle. The best you can uh, try to do now is spin the facts. Well, we often hear this when something was out in the government and they, can't, they can no longer deny it because somebody very important has said it or it got out there somehow and now they could try to somehow make it seem like it's not bad towards them. It's still somebody else's fault or something like that. They, they spin the facts so that it's, they're not to blame and somebody else is always to blame or somebody else is always the bad guy. All right, let's continue. Number three, uh, he was caught red-handed. There's no denying it. The genie is out of the bottle. Good. Yeah. So again, no evidence. Uh, the evidence is so, so clear that, you know, you can't try to say this person is innocent or whatever. All right, number four, many people claim we should rid the world of nuclear weapons but it is of no use. The genie is already out of the bottle. The technology is already out there. Yeah, a lot of people say that this incident, you know, of creating nuclear weapons actually helped popularize this term more. It was often used in regard to this because once, uh, once it was invented and once the technology was out there, you know, even if you get one country to get rid of their nuclear weapons, you can't get them all to get rid of their nuclear weapons. And, and even if some miracle happened that you could get them to agree to it, the technology is still there. You, you couldn't really trust that so they destroyed it, somebody would find it, and some bad country could always, you know, redo it and bring it back again. So it's out there. So that, that's the idea. The genie's out of the bottle. It's already been invented. It's already out there. So it cannot be undone. Okay, number five. Uh, this technology could be used for good or evil. Yeah, sometimes it might be something else that, that's coming out. So sometimes we should almost think about some of the new technology. Even when it can be used for good, if it could be used for evil too, we better be careful because you never know. At some point, somebody might get the idea to use it for evil. However, once you introduce it, introduce it, the genie is out of the bottle and could fall into the wrong hands. You know, evil people or bad people that want to use it for their own agenda or for their own purpose or for their own profit somehow. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.